Hey there guys, TC made with TC Gaming. Wanted to give you a video real quick. I've been getting a lot of questions lately because of the uh, Cinti sale and the Humble Bundle sale. And also just some people working with uh, Advanced Locomotion System. So I'm going to do a combination video here. I'm going to put together the ALS version 4 community download, which is the replicated version, into a third person project. And then we're going to add a Cinti pack to that, retarget everything onto Cinti and get that all working. So it's going to be two parts. The first part of the video for ALS version 4 will be universal for ALS version 4. And the second part for retargeting Cinti onto ALS version 4 should be uh, pretty standard also. So I'm going to start with going out to the internet and going to uh, GitHub and looking for ALS v4. And you'll find out here that there is an advanced locomotion system community version on GitHub. And uh, this is the one I typically get, which is this uh, Diana Koglu. Or I'm not sure how the, might, might it be Diana Oglu. <clears throat> but anyway, this is the repository that I typically get. So you can see in here that it's the advanced locomotion system community version. And it's got quite a few releases. And it's also for Unreal Engine 5.1. Okay, and what I do is I go down here and I say um, we want to get the code, so we go and download the zip file for this, and I'm just going to let that go into my local directory, and once that downloads, I'm just going to show in folder, and it should be in here. I got a billion things in here, so here's my ALS community main. Uh, I might even have a copy of this already on here already. So let me, yeah, let me purge this so it's not an interruption. But here's ALS Community Main that we just downloaded. If we open this up and take a look at what's inside of it, uh, what you have is a folder in here for all your characters, assets, environment, and all that kind of stuff. There's also a demo level map in here. Um, <clears throat> but I don't believe that there's an actual project file in this anywhere. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and extract this. And I just usually say extract to ALS community main. So that file now is going to be over here, ALS community main. And I'm going to drill into it until I get right to here, which is where the main folder is. So I'm going to go back one level. I'm going to right click on this and say cut. And go back to downloads and right click and just say paste out side of that and what that'll do is basically it'll move it up to the top level so you don't have ALS community main ALS community main github content resources so on and so forth now this folder will end up being a um a uh, plugin folder in any other project that we want to put this in so now what I'll do is I'll go out here to the um, launcher and I'll go ahead and launch a 5.1 project and what we want to do here is because ALS version 4 is a, or the community version, it's a C++ project and it's replicated. We want to create our project here as a C++ project. And I'm going to call this ALS v4 community. And I'll create this as a third person project in C++. Okay. Give that a second. Okay, and as that completes, it takes a minute to do that. As it completes, what it actually does, it'll create an, um, a file for Visual Studio and open up a project in the background, which is why it typically takes a little longer to do this. So if you do not have Visual Studio on your machine, let me see if I can go here and say help, and usually you can say about. I have Visual Studio Community 2022 on here. And this should work fine for what you're doing. If you don't have this, you can go out on the internet and search for Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2022, download that package and install it. And the only thing you want to make sure of is that when you're going down through the options for the install, there's going to be a bunch of options. You can say, I want this and that and the other thing for different development environments. One of the things that you want to make sure of is that there's one on there for Unreal Engine development with C++. Make sure that that's turned on. Um, I think I cover that in some other videos. If if it's uh, necessary to see that. All right, so this is my ALSV4 community project, but I don't have my plugin in here yet. Okay, so I'm gonna 
this close out thing that got created, I'm going to close this project. And what I want to do now is I'm going to go to where that project got created. Actually, I want to take the sales community main. And I'm going to right click on this and say copy. And on my D drive, I just created this ALS v4 community project. So in here, I'm going to right click and say new folder. And this is going to be called plugins with a capital P. And I'm going to paste that ALS community main into the plugins folder of my LSV4 community project that I just made. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this SLN file. And I'm going to right click on the community project um, thing here and say generate Visual Studio project files, which should go and just scan all this again and create a new um, a new launcher for that. And once that is done, you'll have a little SLM file back again. And again, I'll just double click this and open it back up. Now that'll put me back into Visual Studio. And what we want to do here is we want to build this so that it incorporates all the plugin in here. So if we go to build, we want to go down here and say build solution and let that run and it should go through I'm taking a minute, but it should go through and compile everything. We'll just see it run over here. And when it gets done, it should say one project uh, successfully compiled. That might say one skipped. The one that skipped is going to be the, the one for uh, ALS version 4. So here you have build, one succeeded, zero failed, zero up to date, one skipped. Again, that's probably the plugin. It's already compiled there. And so now we can close this again and go and launch this ALS v4 community view project. Uh, now, inside of here, we have options to turn on for showing engine content. We also want to say show plugin content and show C++ classes. And when we do that, we should see some additional folders over here on the side. The plugins folder, this is localized to this project because it's actually embedded inside of the, the, um, the code. So if you just go down into the plugins folder, way down in here to levels, there's an ALS demo level. And if you just bring that in and hit play, then you'll see that you do actually have the controller turned on and you have your ALS version 4 character in here and all your other things that normally happen with ALS are, are intact. Okay. <clears throat> so my apologies, I, I just grabbed the wrong game mode in there and doing it in the level just pulls it right up so you can go through here and see that all these things work and they've got a much more robust uh, example of all the different characters and movements and everything in this version this is always being worked on out there in the community somewhere so you want to keep your eye on it <clears throat> you can also um, you know if you go up to stuff you should have your IK your climbing should be good be able to climb up all these different things and when you jump off with this one I think you go into a roll yeah so go in here and check this out. Again, this is the first part of this video. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll do these in two different videos. So this one would be just building the ALS version 4 community version. And then what I'll do is I'll take this version and I'll bring Cynthia into it. So we'll call this video one and be done with it. So again, my name is TC made with TC Gaming. I will catch you guys in a video upcoming soon.